Yoda, thanks so much for being on the podcast. Thank you for having me. I get that you have a degree in IT. Uh, you've dealt firsthand with illness yourself. But I, I'd love to hear your story of what actually led you to become the CEO of a company that produces frequency harmony, harmonizing devices. That's even hard to say. And I want to get into that a little bit later, exactly what that term means. But let's start with you. Tell us about your story about what led you to where you are right now with Somavetic. Yes. So, uh, yeah, that's a, that's quite a, quite a long story. <laughs> so I'll try to try to make it short and, uh, hope interesting, uh, at least a bit. Give us the abbreviated version. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So basically I was, uh, in around 2012, uh, and 13, I was suffering quite a lot with, uh, different, uh, different health problems. So, uh, yeah, and, uh, like blood pressure, chest pain, uh, brain fog and, and like lots of different things. And uh, yeah, basically the doctors told me like, here are the pills uh, you, and you will take them and you'll be, you'll be healthy or, but I said like, yeah, but when will the, when will I be like healthy? When, when uh, may I stop taking them? And they said, no, they are they're just for life. So I was not satisfied with, with that answer. And I try, uh, started my own like research into like everything, like food, lifestyle and uh, supplements. And, uh, yeah, eventually after like, uh, more than like a year of research, basically I, uh, quite drastically changed my diet and, uh, the, the, all the things that I was suffering from, uh, the last four years all of a sudden went away in, in just the matter of, uh, of less than six months. So I was blown away by that. And, uh, yeah, so, so this started, uh, basically my like self healing journey into, into, uh, yeah, to living like a healthy life and healthy lifestyle. And uh, I started to be interested more. I was always fascinated into ancient Egypt and the pyramids and everything. So I was doing a short research on the pyramids and how they are affecting the, the food and water and everything. So uh, a friend of mine was selling them. Uh, I've paid him a visit. And basically uh, he had uh, in his living room these, these glowing lights everywhere. And uh, yeah, I've asked like, what is that? Like, uh, it's, it's really like fascinating. And he said like, yeah, that's a Somavetic. It's really interesting. I've been working with it uh, for, for a few years now. It has some amazing effects. And he told me, he told me uh, like some amazing stories that happened uh, with the, with, with the Somavetic, the, uh, with, with people that, that had it. And uh, I was immediately fascinated by it and drawn to it. Uh, cause as I always wanted to like help people, especially in, in the, 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 the health and wellness space area, uh, I found the Somovedic to be the, the perfect manifestation of what I wanted to do because it was a product that, you know, could scale that you or I could bring like to the worldwide audience. So that could potentially help a lot of people. So, so yeah, that, that this was about three years ago. So, uh, I started helping him a bit how to enter the, the U S market, some advising on, on the, on the webpage, on the strategy and slowly, throughout the time uh it was like a part time and uh then basically less than yeah it was in 2019 beginning 2019 when uh i've uh, visited the basically got a meeting with the founder ivan uh, ribianski uh who's a very good friend of mine and uh, i told him that uh I want to go all in. I want to like uh, set up a set up a company in the U.S. and let's do a U.S. branch and sp uh, and let let's go with the Somovetic to uh, basically to the like to the worldwide audience. Uh, so he he agreed, and uh, in September 
2019, I landed in, in LA and spent three months in San Francisco setting up the company, like building network and then relationships and everything. And since then, uh, the sum of it is, is uh, like growing really fast uh, organically in the US. Uh, word of mouth recommendation. Uh, yeah, so this would be in a nutshell, but one thing to mention would be that Somovetic is not a new, uh, like a product. Uh, it's the first product I was introduced in April 2011. We just entered the US market last year. Yeah, so so yeah, this would be <clears throat> this would be in a, in a like a really really short story about how how I got how, how I got into it. Those are great cliff notes, and thank you for short. Sure. No, that's it's an amazing story, really, because I've always found that so many people once they go through their own health struggles, after yeah. they regain their health, they go on to find other things, do other things that give back. In a sense, I call it paying it forward correct? Yeah. And yes. so you getting involved with this company and now being able to provide this product to a broader audience and truly help them is, is really paying it forward through your own experience. So that's why I do love these stories. That's why it's called your health, your story, because there's always a story behind the product. Yeah. And I want to get to that. And I want to get into the product very shortly and exactly how it works and tell the audience uh, you know, what it is really going on, the science behind this, because there is science behind it. But first, I want to kind of set the stage of what it is, what is the problem that it's actually uh, solving. So when you guys talk about harmonization of the environment, you hit on three things I've noticed. It's EMF exposure, the quality of water, and also free radicals that we know lead to oxidative stress. So let's start with EMF. Why should we care about EMF, 5G, Wi-Fi? These seem like wonderful things. We're all sitting on our gadgets right now. We're talking on something that's giving off some sort of EMF radiation, you could say. Why is that something we should be looking at to uh, not only correct, but minimize? Yes, <clears throat> that's, a, that's a very good question and, and quite a profound one. <laughs> so where to start so because the awareness that uh, emf is is doing harm to our bodies and cells is uh is quite low because there are even though there are lots of studies uh like hundreds and hundreds uh showing that it has negative effects on our brain on our cells on on our blood on our cardiac basically stress uh the the industry that is basically behind behind it uh, for them it's it's enough uh for them it's enough to put out put out a study that is showing that see like the emfs are not harmful and then you have this uh the planted seed and two two sides that like one is saying it is harmful the second one is is not harmful so it is it is like a debate that is like never ending it's a similar story with the tobacco industry uh very 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 similar that even though after they were convinced uh that the, the trial and the tests show that that uh, uh, you'll get cancer from for, from smoking it, it took another 40 years for the industry to admit it because it's a huge money behind it so we are in a very similar very similar situation uh, of course like so the technological advance I do first of all I I have nothing against technology. I do love the, to be like online, to work with Skype, Zoom, remote working, all of that. It's just the safety standards with the, with the current technologies are very old uh, and they don't evolve with, with what is going on now as the, as the strength and the numbers uh, of of devices are growing uh, basically exponentially, so so it's like billion times higher the EMF soup we are bathing in uh, than it was uh, let's say twenty or thirty years ago, and uh, yeah and. <laughs> 
And why it is also also important is that it's a uh, it's quite subtle, uh, and not many people can feel it. But when we are living in it, like twenty four hours a day, there are like negative effects on, on of it, and uh, people can can find like lots of materials. It's it's enough to to Google, and then they will they, they will see that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I always like to say it, it's very subtle and it's like a drop in the bucket. And you could have a large bucket going in it. That's your predisposition. You could say your genetics determine how your bucket, how you are going to deal with something like EMF radiation, toxicity, chemicals in the air. And each one is a drop. So each time you're on your phone, it's almost a drop, let's say. Or if you're sleeping near Wi-Fi and it's on while you're regenerating, of course, that's another drop. Sooner or later, we're, we're, we have thousands of drops around us, right? We're, we're wearing technology now all on us. We have multiple laptops, tablets, kids are always on them. So these drops add up. And as we know, water can cut through the toughest stone over time. That's yeah. how many of the rivers, that's how the Grand Canyon was formed. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we have to be cognizant that even though it's not something like a heavy dose of radiation, where if you walked into a nuclear plant and then, you know, a minute later, you'd be dead. We are talking about somewhat similar thing. This is radiation. You know, the, the, the strength of it, of course, is going to be different. But we still need to be cognizant because you look around. I look around me right now. I'm just surrounded, you know, whether it's the microphone, whether it's the laptop, my cell phone. These are things that are artificial and they will rip through the body at all times. And even though they might be somewhat low in that spectrum of, of power and radiation, we still need to be very cognizant about it. So I, I think with the best one, the most actually understood one you could say now is EMF of the three I want to bring up. But what about quality of water and structuring water? Because that's a very interesting topic I've been really looking at a lot. It's not about purification just the water. It's about structuring. So can you go into why that matters to us? Because I understand somavetic also impacts the structure of water. Yes, yes. So uh, I will go to that, of course, uh, in a way that basically uh, everybody can, can, can un understand. So from, from the research, uh, it's been shown that the structure of the water is much more important than the than the chemical composition and uh, in our cells in our bodies in, in cells there is basically only structured water and uh, to get the best hydration for our uh, for our bodies or to have the best bioavailability of water it's in ideal case, we should drink structured water, which can be, of course, found in nature in uh, in flowing rivers, for for example. But uh, but the water that we are buying, like the the, the bottled water or tap water, uh, like it has, it's just chaotic. I mean, if you would if you would freeze the the crystals of the water, you would see that it would look like a if, if it's structured water, it would look like a snowflake. It would be very nice shape. If it's non-structured water, it would uh, basically be very like chaotic. The, the, yeah, the, the most, basically the one who brought it to mainstream, the one scientist was Masaru Emoto, yes. a Japanese scientist that showed various experiments with, uh, with how you speak to the water, how you think about it. And even now children are doing experiments with apples or, or with rice that uh, you put uh, well, positive uh, like emotions or, or, or ideas and one are negative. But, uh, and you could see that uh, the, the oxidative process of the apple or rice or whatever the, the, there is, it will be like much, much faster. So, so in a, in, in a nutshell, it's, it's the, the, it's the most natural state of water that uh, we basically should, should drink. And it's, if you don't have a, a device that is structuring water, you can only find it uh, in, in flowing rivers in case there are, of course, uh, there's drinkable uh, water. <laughs> 
It, it's an interesting subject because everyone believes water is water. If you drink it, it doesn't have chemicals. It is, it quenches your thirst. But as I've spoken to more and more experts, you know, it's not the same. You're right. The bioavailability changes, the usage of the water, the efficiency of it. And of course, we're 60 to 70 percent made of water. Yes. You're mostly water. So it's incredibly important. And only in the last hundred years or so have we abandoned natural sources of water for more of this tap water, fluorinated water, all of these different processes that are chemically induced. And I, I do believe that's part of the problem of why more and more of us are getting sick. So it's incredibly important to understand that structural water. And as you mentioned, Dr. Omoto's work, The Hidden Messages in Water, beautiful books uh, to read about that as well. The final piece I wanted to go into here, here is uh, free radicals and oxidative stress, mm -hmm. right? Tell us a little bit about that and why your environment, uh, you know, is impacted by free radicals and what we could do about that. Yes. So <clears throat> there are lots of influences uh, that are affecting uh, our, basically the levels of free radicals in our bodies. It, it might be stress, lack of sleep, uh, like your lifestyle, of course, EMF, because uh, one of the things, for example, EMF is basically uh, causing on a biological level to, uh, yeah, the, it's like the oxidative stress so of, of our cells. So, so uh, we get higher levels of, of free radicals uh, in our bodies, and this has been this has been measured uh, like again and again, and. Uh, what we've done and what the what how we've measured uh, the the somovedic effects on, uh, on on free radicals it's quite an interesting story as uh, it was just last year when we approached some uh, uh, influential influential doctors here in Czech Republic and uh, they were quite skeptical uh, about uh, like somovedic and uh, so we gave them uh, free radical test strips, you know, that you measure your free, free radical levels with your urine, with your morning urine. And uh, so they've done the measurements and uh, basically both of them had high levels of free radicals. And they got, they got quite scared because, you know, they are, they are doctors, they know what, like, what, this, what, does, this, what does it mean. So uh, we've gave them uh, some ovaric and uh, they were supposed to do the measurements again in two days and uh and they've done the measurements and uh and the levels of free radicals uh showed the, that are like normal it was like normal normal levels and they were blown away by it uh how like immediate effect it, it had and uh yeah and since then basically they they are our supporters <laughs> That's, that's great because once you show some, it's so hard, especially with these things, because they're unseen. And, yes. and you talk about EMF, the structure of water, you know, free radicals. These aren't things we're visualizing. It's not like you could see sometimes, you know, uh, asbestos or something like that. That's visual and you suddenly, we connect as a society with something that's visual. But you will never see the spectrum of radiation that is around us. We see such a small spectrum yeah. in the color field. If exactly. we saw everything else, it would be blinding to us that is going yeah, yeah. through us all the time. So it's amazing to show someone that and prove it a little bit and have them come on board then. So that's, that's great. You were able to do that. So let's jump into Somavetic itself. Yes. <laughs> First off, great job on the design of it because it's like this glowing orb of like a UFO and we have it in our medical clinic. Everyone's like, what is that? I want one. <laughs> they don't even know what it does, but it looks nice. So that, that's already a plus over a lot of things that look not mm -hmm. as nice and, and are said to be healing. But tell me about what went into this. And you said it's been around for a long time. Uh, the creator put it put it together before I guess 2011 or so. What what is it that makes the Soma Vedic work in a sense? Yes. So as as with lots of things, uh, it was created out of necessity, and there is also a story of Ivan uh, behind the Soma Vedic, as he himself was 
again, struggling with his health, uh, different uh, organ failures and, and everything. And uh, the, the medicine was not able to, to help him. So he decided to uh, study like Chinese and Ayurvedic medicine and different healing properties of, of precious stones and minerals. And uh, eventually he was able to, to heal himself. And uh, yeah, so then he was, he's not like a doctor or anything, but then he was helping other people uh, from the experience he had and what he learned. And uh, it was, it was working. And eventually he basically decided to put all the knowledge into, uh, into a device. And this is how like Somovedic like started. When people started approaching him that they have like problems with uh, geopathic stress and ge wind geopathic zones, and we can get back, uh, back to that a bit later. Uh, but uh, yeah, so, so this was the, f the first basically idea behind it and the first prototype was put together in april 2011 and it uh, already showed uh, showed the great great results so and so what is basically a somovedic so inside of of each somovedic there are like precious stones and minerals and precious metals and they are physically inside mm -hmm and they are in a, a special configuration so they the they are like working together and amplifying basically each other and are creating this coherent field around it so you can think of it as a wi-fi uh, but in a good way a natural so, wi-fi yeah yeah exactly <laughs> so it is it is creating this this uh, this this coherent field that uh, various measurements showed that is actually when people are in its field, it is improving various biomarkers. So, so this is in a nutshell, like what is in, in, in the Somovedic and uh, how, how does it work? It is plugged, plugged into electricity. Uh, but the reason is that we have to keep basically the, because you can't put whatever is inside, you can't take it out, clean it, recharge it. So we need to keep it working for, for seven or eight, eight years and more. So that's why we have, uh, it, you have to plug it in. So it's functioning like hundred percent, but even, even as it is based uh, on these precious stones and minerals, even when it's not plugged in, uh, you have about a 60% efficacy of, of the product because of, uh, of, of its heart, because of the, basically the, what is, what it is based on. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, it comes down to frequency and vibrations, correct? That that's yes. what you're trying to do. And we have to understand that artificial frequencies are sinusoidal, just, you know, very ripping through you, just going straight. So they're only two dimensional, whereas natural frequencies that we find in nature normally, whether that's Schumann resonance or others are a vortex and 3D. And that is beneficial to us. That actually helps cell to cell communication. Whereas mm -hmm. everything else, electromagnetic 5G Wi-Fi actually disrupts cell to cell communication. So you have, you know, stunted regeneration improper growth and you could have different types of inflammation and stressors and oxidative stress basically so very much like other devices out there whether it's the biocharger which use we use in our clinic for different yeah. therapies this is providing you basically the natural frequencies to negate some of those uh, uh negative ones from artificially made man-made emf devices so that's that's really interesting and you know, to go a little bit further, because I know some people are saying, well, that sounds nice, but where's the proof, right? Where's the science? And you do state that Soma Vedic has been scientifically proven to improve sure. immunity and accelerate bodies. So can you go into that? Because I know everyone's ears perk up when they hear <laughs> scientifically proven. And you either get people that are really happy or really skeptical. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, For go sure. into that. For sure. No, I and I, and I definitely understand it. Because... Uh, devices like Somovedic or any other 
product in the frequency therapy space, let's say, uh, like sound healing, is that is it might it might not be a new thing. Let's say in in uh, Eastern medicine, they are using it for 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 hundreds of years. But for the modern Western society, it is uh, a, a new something that is still to be like mainstream but but we are go we are going there so and i so that's why i totally understand uh that people are skeptical and want to see the proof and we of course uh have done uh various various studies from germany from austria uh or or from slovenia or czech, czech republic so i would mention few of them that uh, and there's a like short story behind it there as uh, behind that as well as basically uh, two doctors uh, ordered a bought a somovedic for their own personal use and they they realized first of all uh, they didn't feel that much of a difference but their wives they they loved it they the their headaches were gone their sleep improved and with both of them uh the plants uh start basically were growing faster so they said like hmm, this is really interesting so we can see these effects so let's measure it so basically they approached us that they would like to measure it and they designed a, a, a small study, preclinical study, because they didn't want to do a full-scale study as they were not uh, sure if, if it, there will be any results. So they've done a, a small preclinical study with 10 people and they were measuring blood pressure, sleep, and uh, basically how they feel. So, and they found, and this was with, uh, with uh, people, basically patients, majority of them were about 60 years old and they found out uh, that after after four weeks uh, their blood with with 70 percent of them like uh, their blood pressure got lower the, the blood pressure normalized and there was no there was basically no other change in their supplementation or lifestyle it was just adding some of it to their homes uh, where they where they spent with this in the, in its field uh, at least eight hours a day, mainly during uh, during the sleep when they were sleeping. So this was quite uh, like a profound measurement that uh, you know like blood blood pressure that's that's huge. So <clears throat> and second thing uh, and what was interesting what was interesting that one of the patients had low blood pressure uh, and at the end of the four week it got higher but it was normalized so it went from both sides you know it just basically normalized and uh, so then they were measuring the sleep then they found out that uh, they had uh, longer and more deeper sleep and what what was for them even more profound for for the doctors was uh the patient's mental state they said that they felt more relaxed uh calmer they felt more happy so which because they were using like a everyday standardized questionnaires and there was a huge shift on, on the basically on, on how they feel which is really really important so this this is one basically one study and uh, we are soon launching because because of the COVID, i mean uh we had to postpone it but we are soon launching basically the same doctors designed a uh, full-scale double-blinded uh, study with 66 patients <clears throat> it will be extended more biomarkers measured but it will be very similar to this one and the same doctors will be doing it uh where uh if if it would be at least uh, as successful as as was as was the small trial they will basically file for a medical device registration so so this is this is uh, this is one one study then we have uh, uh, 
we've sent the summer verdict to, to Switzerland to do the photos of, of the water crystals, which showed positive, positive uh, like results as well. Then I've mentioned you the, the, the free radical levels. So, and, uh, and right now we have a US lab uh, that is already started uh, a, a study with, uh, it was also various biomarkers. Uh, it should be done, finished in about a month and uh, we will publish the, 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 the results, uh, results soon. So uh, yeah, I mean, this would be in a, in, in a nutshell. Oh, that's great. It's really amazing how when you just switch the environment slightly, you alleviate a number of things because you're, you're getting the body to regenerate. So it's not this, uh, you know, idea that Soma Vedic works only on, you know, certain colds or Soma Vedic works on the cough or works on just the respiratory system. It's not even that Soma Vedic works on any of those things. It just provides the environment for the body to heal itself. Correct. So it's exactly. not, it's, you're, you're probably making no medical claims, I'm sure, because this isn't a medical device and you don't want yeah the FDA to look at this as a medical device. It is a harmonizing device and that's precisely what it is. But why wouldn't you want to create the environment around you that allows your body to then sleep better, regenerate, increase blood, you know, uh, decrease blood pressure or whatever you need. Maybe you have hypo, so you need to increase. That's the body doing it itself. You're just providing the environment. Exactly. I mean, you, yeah, you just, you just nailed it because the, this is something that I wanted basically to say that, that yes, this, why Somovedic is helping people, you know, when I would mention the, the, the five most common, let's say, things that people feel or experience, it's the, uh, they sleep better, they have more energy during the day, uh, less brain fog, uh, with women, less headaches. Uh, we have doctors that have it in their office spaces and they said that they can handle more patients as towards the end of the day, they, they just have more energy and even their patients respond to it just like yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but, uh, this might sound all good to be true, you know, like this is so easy and universal, but it is, it is the reason you just mentioned it's that the somovedic is basically just creating a space uh, where the body has more energy to regenerate, to heal itself. So that's why it has different effects on different people. Because, uh, yeah, it's just the body is doing the healing. It's, right. it's the, 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 the product, the, 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 the somovetic is just creating the, the, the space for it. Absolutely. And we forget so often that we are the most incredible healing devices out there in the universe, basically. I mean, we don't see it, of course, again, the visuals of it. But if you cut yourself, you don't do anything. It usually heals given the right environment, given the wrong environment, it becomes an infection, you can't heal, it becomes systemic. So it's all about the environment. That's biological terrain theory, right? Um, now, tell us a little bit about the product line, because it's not a singular product we're talking about. And just so you know, these are, what, about six or eight inch discs, right, that you would place in your home that cover a certain amount of square feet, basically, yes. coverage. And you'd plug it in and leave it in, in there. But there are eight different main products, correct? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, so... One thing to mention, so yes, uh, some of it, it looks like a, like, a, like a disc, it looks like a lamp that you plug in and put on, on the table, ideally in the living room, because uh, it is creating a field of a radius of 100 feet into all directions, like up, down, left, right, penetrating walls and floors. So it is ideally enough when you place it in somewhere in the middle, centralized location yes yes mm -hmm. let's say a living room or a kitchen just like a wi-fi router yeah yes <laughs> yeah exactly so uh yeah and then uh regarding the, the the models the main difference between them is the is the strength of the of the field that they are creating and if they are structuring water or not yes so I would basically divide it into uh, into uh, these 
uh, two basically groups where we have the the the, the medic, the medic Ultra and, and the ember. Uh, and like the medic Ultra and ember are structuring water. And uh, and yes, yeah, so the various so some of the products are basically designed uh, that if you live around around the around the city, not in the city center where there's not a lot of EMF, uh, and you just have like basic like few Wi-Fi's around you and uh, etc. But of course, then there are like office spaces in your work, uh, or the, when you live in a city center like 5G towers, you know, and 20 or 30 Wi-Fi's, then you need like a much stronger uh, device. For example, the MediGreen Ultra, which is our best seller, or, or the Ember. So we, on our webpage, we have a very uh, like, like easy comparison table. Uh, when, you, when you look at it, you will basically uh, find out like what what are the what are the benefits what are, what are the strength and how to how to choose the, the the best product so you say the medic green ultra is the best seller for you yes yes the medic green ultra is the best seller the reason for that is that it's uh it has basically it's a combination of all of the products before that because uh, there used to be four products, basically lower than uh, uh, than the Medi Green Ultra, and so it is the 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 strongest uh, standard device, standard unit, with also with uh, uh, water structuring capabilities. So you just place the jug of water next to the next to the Samovetic, and we didn't mention it that. Uh, the same way how the Somovetic is harmonizing the, the, the space, the environment, the same way it is doing to the water, it's contactless. So you just placed a jug of water next to the Somovetic for 15, 20 minutes and, uh, and the water is structured. Uh, the re uh, how you can tell is mainly by uh, tasting it. You would taste the, the difference. It would be more smooth, more silky, uh, yeah, it was just maybe a diff different, different taste of the water. Would there be any benefit, let's say, to getting a green ultra, or one of those that, that basically encompasses the, the uh, free radicals, EMF, and then doing something like an Atlantic near your water supply source? So, you know, it, or is that too much doubling, meaning you might have a big house? So Atlantic, I understand, is a model that's strictly for water restructuring. Yes. And then yes. your green ultra, of course, is EMF, all the other harmonizing effects for the house. So w would you ever recommend that you get both and leave one right next to your, either it's your water filtration system where you get all your water, where you keep all your water, where you store maybe some water, would that be advantageous? Yes, no, no. Uh, so the Atlantic is uh, not strong enough uh, to structure flowing water. I see. So you would have to uh, like put a jug or a, a tank of water or basically a somovetic next to the tank of water uh, or the, I mean, the Atlantic. Uh, the Medigreen Ultra is, is much stronger and he is, it is able to, to structure flowing water, but it's, uh, uh, it's, I mean, it's such a nice, nice device that it's, uh, it's, it would be a va waste if you would hide it somewhere, you know, this. So, <laughs> so uh, if you would like, if someone would like to structure the whole water, uh, I mean, the all water in his, in his home, there are like other um, devices to do that. Mm -hmm. But if you, if you would like to structure the drinking water and, and the jug of water is like, you can drink from it the whole day is perfectly fine then of course the just for the water atlantic or the very versatile the, the medic green ultra is the is the ideal solution got it now tell me about the soma vedic gold because that is to me the the top line it's gold plate my parents have this in their house and i didn't know when i first came in there i'm like what is that and it was just sitting there shining gold and and um no, but it is the, the premier one, right? It's the premier model 
Uh, is it like a green ultra in its effectiveness, just gold plated, or is it actually more than that? Yes, so it's 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 more than that. Uh, so when we look at the hierarchy and the strength of the models uh, above the Medi Green Ultra, there's the Ember, mm -hmm. and uh, Ember that's our newest device. It was uh, basically yeah designed last year uh, when uh, when we were preparing for the 5G rollout. So it's uh, about four times stronger than the than the Medi Green Ultra, and it's really you know for the for the city centers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and then we have uh, on above that is the gold model, and uh, that is about twice two times stronger than the Ember, but that that's of course one of the main differences, and then is that it's custom made you know we don't have it on stock like ivan is building them like individually for each each customer right. and uh, so as ivan was going through uh, a stage in his life uh, where he was going through some healings like hard times and everything yeah. he became very sensitive and intuitive and uh, so he can read people from from photos uh, what might be aligned what what's so uh, so how the some of the gold is working when you would be interested in it uh, you send us a photo and even like tunes in, into you or into in, into that photo and decides if uh, Basically, how to put it correctly, uh, if this, if the gold is not too strong for you, mm -hmm. sometimes he he may say like, as a first first Samovic model, this might be this might be like too strong for you, uh, like just go for for the for the first three or four months, go with a lower like unit or with the with the medic or with the medic green ultra, because. Uh, it might be yeah as, as I said it, it might be too strong if he said like okay you can you can have the goal then he basically tunes into you and put inside and will put inside the uh, uh, a special basically configuration just just uh, just for you to help you in uh, basically on uh, on your on your self discovery self awareness you know it's a uh, because we found out that uh, the the gold is is uh, also you know like really helping you to release or to process more quickly some blockages in a way you know like that we have some uh, uh, some trauma from 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 past and, and whatever so so it is it it is helping you to to process it so so this would be this would be the main uh, main difference and uh, between the gold and and, and and any other model but as i said the the medigreen ultra is basically the best seller and is the unit for i would recommend like like everybody to 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 go for yeah, I mean, it's one that we recommend a lot. And you're right, the gold, and it, I'll just add to that when you say it is too strong. Some people are simply in a state of healing where they're not ready for a strong healing field on top of that. It is the idea of pushing too much at once. If you are in a state where free radicals have, are abundant in your body and you provide an environment that is actually pushing and clearing so quickly, you may have what many would say is a Herx reaction, but it's really not. Herx is a, is a very, you know, acute state, but it is a detox reaction that could work on it, multiple yes. levels on the energetic level. If you've cleaned certain pathways, cellular regeneration picks up so strongly that your body's not able to keep up almost with the healing. And, you know, in, in Europe, I understand sometimes you look for these reactions. That's a good thing. In America, that would be a bad thing. Probably any symptom is suddenly seen as, uh oh, you know, that's not good. But I, I totally get where you're coming from on being too strong for certain people so yeah yeah and it's it's a uh, it's a good thing that you mentioned the, the detox effects because 
uh, this is something that uh, some of our customers experience. Mm -hmm. uh, it is basically a very temporary thing, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, uh, it, they can experience like a headache or, or restless night or something like that. But it's just when your body is not used to, uh, when your body found itself all of a sudden in a space uh, that have that has like it can focus so much on on itself it has so much energy that that uh, yeah it's basic the process is, is too fast too strong but it's a yeah it, it, it's a good thing <laughs> I, I agree it is a good thing and it's funny it reminds me of a Simpsons episode where Lisa Simpson got the whole family start eating vegan after they've been eating pretty terribly processed food their whole lives. And they all end up sick and saying, you know, vegetables are bad for you, right? And it was really, they were having reaction because they were actually clearing out so much and eating something that was bioavailable and their bodies just couldn't handle it. But yeah. it, it, it always reminds me of that. And again, that is a good thing. When you're moving from unhealthy to healthy, there's going to be change. Change is always some friction and change. And there are some minor things, but Never think that's a terrible thing unless it becomes something, you know, more chronic. But acute little headaches, rash, fatigue, restlessness, these are all part of a healing process for many. Even if you don't feel sick, that could be part of it as you optimize your health. Yeah. Now, on top of the, the eight, you have four other accessories, two of them being pyramids, which you mentioned earlier. Now, I've heard of shungite pyramids being for EMF and others, but this is actually titanium. So how does that work? Can you go into that a little bit? Yes. So, uh, like, to be honest, I'm not the guy to talk to about the titanium <laughs> pyramid. It, it's, uh, it, it, it is my, my colleague. He's, uh, he's basically an, an expert on that. But uh, where, where we are coming from is basically the geometry Mm -hmm. uh, it, because I mean, if you anybody can build a pyramid at home, you know, like uh, sticks are enough to to build it. You of course you have to keep certain geometry, uh, like sacred geometry. The the ratio yeah. is in, is important, but you can you can you you can like build build it. And when using the 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 right ratio and the right material, it it becomes object that is also like radiating like emitting frequencies creating creating a, a field field around it so what is unique about uh, our pyramids is that they are made uh, out of almost pure titanium mm -hmm. which nobody else has and titanium has a very special properties in, in medicine uh, and the body has no reaction uh, to to the titanium, so so it's a combination of the of the of basically the, the the titanium and the the sacred geometry, uh, the the ratio that it's it's creating a field of its own, and when used with some of it, it is amplifying it is amplifying its, its field. That's what I thought. I thought it was an amplifier because I even know, as you mentioned, people build them. And it, it, I have a house in upstate New York and my father built one of these, basically a pyramid in the right proportions with colors that are different on each side. So it's creating a spinning vortex and people go up there and like, what is that? <laughs> Why is that here? But, you know, he goes into it all. But Pyramids are fascinating objects, you know, and I know you studied it and, and I think other people should, but the healing effects and the amplification of certain frequencies due to the sacred geometry of it is yeah. something that's really interesting. So, uh, you know, it's, it's cool to see that you have a titanium one because I haven't seen many of those and many are of the, like I mentioned, Shungite for the C60 fullerene, you know, uh, molecule there. What's your home look like? You know, because I, I want to know what people at Soma Vedic use in their homes and if there are other tips, techniques, or products you're using to also protect and harmonize your environment. Because here at our medical center, we're doing so much. We're looking at the lighting, the air, purificate, you know. Of course, we have Soma Vedic, but we have different colors in different rooms that it also creates more, you know, sounds also, as you mentioned. We're trying to see it from so many different angles. But I'm just curious, what type yes. of, what Soma Vedic do you have? How many? And what else do you do? 
Yeah, I mean, you know, I have, I, I, uh, I don't have that many as you would think. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like every single corner of your home has a yes, glowing yes. orb. <laughs> exactly. So I have uh, one gold, uh, some of Eric. Nice. Uh, I have one Medic Green Ultra in a, in a pyramid, in a wooden, basically wooden pyramid. Oh, nice. It's inside. Right. And uh, then I have uh, some of Eric, uh, Sky. Uh, it's called Medic Medic Sky. We will introduce it uh, January February. It's a very very nice. Uh, it's very similar to to the one behind me, but I'm not sure mm. people. So so it's it's a it's a new model. And then I have the the ruby, the red one. Mm -hmm. So so this is this is basically it. Uh, but in terms of what I would like recommend i don't have any other harmonizing technology in in in, in my home but because well not but because there are so many things we can we can do uh relatively easy and are free or or, or very cheap uh for example as grounding or or earthing this like this has a huge potential it's free you just like take off your shoes and socks and one second is enough i mean the longer you stay on on the on the grass with with your feet the, the better but really one second is to discharge your body is, is really enough and uh, so uh, i recommend definitely grounding uh drinking uh, high quality water uh like moving uh in terms of we are sitting basically all the time in uh, behind the computers so like uh changing the positions you know standing then then, then sitting and uh of course quality of air uh sauna uh blue blue light blockers are are great so so these i think most people are like familiar with these let's say tricks and and and, and tips but uh, but they are very uh, very par powerful and when you combine all together they they keep you in a in a in a very well state no those are all great recommendations and and one of the things that you mentioned there was earthing grounding and that idea of just you know connecting with the the basically forces and you could say schumann waves and all these others but there's another side to that as with everything in polarity and one of the things we mentioned and i want to get back into is geopathic stress uh that's yeah. something so many people know nothing about unfortunately and yeah. something we at the center have seen especially people from that come here from california is that they are impacted by geopathic stress. Can you just give a little, again, a brief explanation, because I know it's a big subject and a whole yes. science, you know, a study of science, but what is geopathic stress and how does Soma Vedic, again, uh, basically negate that? Yes, so geopathic stress comes from geopathic zones, and these are basically zones below the Earth's surface. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the Chinese knew this uh, for thousands of years. They call it dragon lines or, or dragon veins or ley lines. There are, there are various, various names for it. But in a nutshell, for example, where the tectonic plates meet uh, and, and there's, there's the friction even though the, uh, for the, the movement is very slow, but there is a friction and it is, it is basically vibrating and the, the, the frequency surfacing uh, to like surfacing on, on, the, on the surface, or it may be a flowing river below your office or home or, or, or apartment that is also like creating constant vibration. And when you have a bed, on top of on on top of that, uh, the 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 science is showing that just by moving your bed or office chair from that spot, uh, basically, if you would stay there, and it has a long term like negative effect. So, and how the somovedic is, is working is very similar with the with the EMF, that it is creating a field where where it mitigates these effects but uh interesting to mention uh the the very first prototype uh was designed for a 
let's say, a specific frequency of geopathic zones. But these tend to change, you know, I mean, because the river is changing and everything is moving. So the, 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 the spectrum of the frequency is changing. So it was working for, for let's say, several, several months and then it stopped working because, well, the device did not stop working, but the frequency changed. And uh, Ivan had to fine tune the somovatic so it, that, so it ad adapts. Uh, and yeah, and but he was able in uh, during the first year in 2011 uh, to come come up with a solution where no matter uh, if the frequency changes or the environment changes, the geopathic stress, the effects of it are uh, basically mitigated. So if you have it at home, uh, it's enough uh, that basically it covers your your bedroom and you can uh, you can be like feel safe. Yeah, it's one of those subjects that so few people really know about. And yet some of the cases we get in the clinic, in our center that come in that have looked at every single possible source of why they're sick, never even bothered to look or never were told about something. And then we find it is an issue for them. And then they either find a harmonizing or sometimes have to move even if they're on a heavy fault, right? That's very hard to mitigate. But and then those uh, symptoms and the disease dissipates and goes away. So it's really yeah. important. And, and there are a few, I know Earth's Radiation is a book out there. Um, even the Invisible Rainbow brings it up. So there's definitely some good literature out there. We have a whole video with uh, Hannah Talmore who talked about that. A doctor passed away not long ago, but was very much into geopathic stress and the effect on the human body. So it's great to hear that there is a device like Soma Vedic that can also help with that. What's next for Soma Vedic and where do you see the industry, this EMF protection and personal environment harmonization industry going? Yes, so where we as a, as a company are going, so we've basically started at the, at the geopathic stress uh, mitigation and EMF mitigation. But this is a very, it, this is quite a niche, uh, like area. And, you know, we've sold like tens of thousands of somovetics worldwide, and we have endless uh, testimonials, how, how people like they, they basically their whole life changed. Uh, thanks, thanks to the thanks to the somovetic. And we, we can see every day, uh, how universal uh, the, 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 the benefits are. So our goal is to, uh, you know, like become the, the go-to uh, like health and wellness frequency device for your home or for the office. We are working now really hard for to finish uh, various studies because we have, we know it's working from the people uh, from the feedback, we just now need the data to measure it, you know, because when you have more energy, better sleep, better mood, uh, and everything. So there, on a biological level, there must be something going on. So we are in the process, of course, we have some data that I mentioned, but we are in the process to, to uh, put together some robust, uh, robust studies. Uh, so we can then, then publish, uh, publish papers and, and become uh, even you know, even more, let's say, uh, let's say mainstream or, or mm -hmm. more, uh, yeah. So, so, so that's, that's the goal. I mean, the, the, the end goal would be, you know, that to help as many households and companies as possible. Cause even now in the, in the COVID times there, the preventive medicine and, uh, uh, work from home and uh, it's really, really important. Uh, so uh, we definitely want to help in the, this area. Have you seen an uptick in interest and in, in sales maybe due to COVID and working from home? Because you're in your environment much, much more. Yes. And I think a lot of people are realizing maybe my environment isn't that great because <laughs> I'm here now 24 hours a day almost. Maybe I should optimize. I know half of my friends are looking into standing desks and ergonomic chairs 
But I think yeah, they need yeah. to be looking a little bit further into their harmonization of their environment <laughs> with something like Soma Vedic. So have you seen that interest peak a little bit? Yes, yes. We definitely have seen uh, a peak uh, in uh, March and April in the U.S. Mm -hmm. In the U.S., March and April was a huge peak. But, but then, of course, uh, you know, like... As people got, uh, you know, the because of the jobs and the scarcity and everything, uh, then it it was uh, of course go, go lower. And but uh, yes, there was a there was a, a huge peak at the beginning. Uh, of course, like now we are growing like every every month. But due to the COVID, there was uh, like a direct connection uh, in in the peak. But you know what? That's really, in a sense, it's the silver lining again. That's great to hear people are taking preventive measures. They're not yeah. just sitting back saying, I'm just going to sit here and wait this out because most people realize there'll probably be another threat at some point, whether that's a virus, bacteria, or something else, or just chronic disease is a constant threat for you know the last hundred years or so and increasing every year. So we got to take charge. And, and I do think one of the easiest ways to do that is just look around. This is your environment. This is where you're by, where you're, you know, you're getting so much information. It's either going to drive you towards disease or towards health. And something like Soma Vedic is taking you out of that disease state and putting you into a healthy state. So that's really great. Where can people learn more about Soma Vedic? Yes, so they can, uh, basically all of the information we've discussed uh, can be found on our webpage, uh, somavedic.com. Uh, all the all the products, uh, the science, the testimonials, how we how it works can can be found there. Yeah, and I truly recommend because I've actually worked with a documentary filmmaker over the last year or so, uh, Fraser Bailey, who did root cause and emotion. He was asking us for help into looking into different EMF solutions and. You know, there, there are so many out there, so, so many now, and it's a growing and, you know, you connect with some people and they get a little bit of it, but they've never heard of geopathic stress before and all these things. But we, we definitely recommend it to them and said, Soma Vedic is, is the one that kind of sticks out. There are a few others that are different, like U Matrix, that's very device, you know, um, uh, focused and, and we found that very good for that. But for general harmonization. Soma Vedic is one we have in our medical center. We recommend it to other doctors. We recommend to patients. So great job with this and, and really looking forward to the new models that are coming out soon. And I'll hopefully get one of those. And, um, and yeah, I, I wish you guys all the best and hope this continues to grow because this is something that is so far, I think, not looked at enough as a source of dysfunction and disease. But coming to the forefront and especially with things like 5g coming now and lots yeah. of discussions about that i think this is a topic that needs to be brought up more and solutions also need to be brought up in soma vedic's one so really great job with that and uh continued success yuri yeah thank, thank you thank, thank you for the for the opportunity uh to basically spread awareness mainly about the emf water structuring ge geopathic stress and uh so uh thank you for the for the for the nice and kind words uh one thing i would like to like to mention is that uh some of it is a, a product uh you basically have to experience mm -hmm. uh, ideally uh because uh, on one side there's the science on the other side you have like lots of testimonials but uh, you never know uh, how it will work uh, with, with, with you or your family so that's why we we have a 60-day money-back guarantee so you have full two months basically to try it out and see where it works where it doesn't or whatever experience you will have and decide if you if it was worth it and if you want to keep it so uh yeah feel free to 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 test it out that's very cool because i am so big on experience evidence is great i understand it but i've seen lots of evidence that said i'd feel a certain way and then i experienced it and i didn't so the evidence didn't work for me experience is the greatest knowledge base and wisdom kind of um, uh, based issue that we don't have enough of right now we try and lean on what other people say but until you experience it you'll never know and and to do that with 60 days and, and just see if it works for you or not great stuff so i recommend this to everyone go out there and experience it for yourself so Vedic, yuri thank you so much thank you thank you Kasper, for having me